All in all, if I look back at my experience, I think I made the best decision in my life, not just about where to go to school. Definitely. Oh, Definitely yeah. the right choice. It is the best decision I've ever made in my life to come to Sackler. Yes. I never doubted my decision for a minute. It only reinforces, as I get older, how lucky I was to be there. I don't know any other fourth-year medical student who's sad to be graduating and you know wants to stay in medical school. It's it's yeah. crazy. My time was great there. It really was. I would do it in a heartbeat. I would go away to Sackler. It was an incredible experience, both academically and socially and professionally. And I'm exactly where I want to be. Looking back retrospectively, that that training was um, was ideal. The New York State American Medical Program at Tel Aviv University, designed specifically for medical students from the United States and Canada, is a unique program that combines academic excellence with outstanding clinical experience in an intimate environment abroad. Tel Aviv University is the largest university in Israel, and our medical school is also the largest in Israel, encompasses seven teaching hospitals and some other major psychiatric facilities and rehabilitation centers. This is facilities and the overall environment of Tel Aviv University make for an ideal four-year course of study. The academic standards of the New York State American program at Tel Aviv University are identical to those of American medical schools. By being taught by leading physicians in their various fields of medicine, we ensure that our students are kept up to date with the leading advances in medical information and technology. You're at academic centers where everyone is quoting from the latest journal, the latest studies. I love the fact that most of the classes are smaller class sizes than many of the programs in the States. And this way you can get more of a one-on-one -on -one teaching atmosphere. The professors really take time to make sure that you know what you're doing. They have such a love for the field and they really give that over to the students. Many doctors and scientists have groundbreaking research. The fact that we have top researchers who are teaching the classes, it means that they're up to date with the latest advances. I always have a few students a year who are more interested in research. Some of them have come and done rotations in my lab. I've had summer students work here. And on top of it, you've got mentors, professors, well-known professors that will teach you and will teach you closely. It's a win-win situation. Starting right away from the first year of medical school, we are exposed to the hospitals. We would go with a program called the Physician Advisor Program. It gave us a sort of insight into what we were really going to be doing and why we're, we were really in medical school. The real changing point is the third year when you're actually in the hospital and out of the classroom. Being part of this operation right now is just incredible. Like You really feel part of the team. They want you to learn, and the only way to learn, especially in surgery, is by doing it. So, I mean, they always want you to see what they're doing, they want you to do everything. They make it a point that med student training is their top priority, and you really see it once you start in the hospitals. Uh, when they see something interesting or see something new, they'll always look for the med students to bring them and show them, and then they start teaching the residents as well. And you, you really feel that the hospital kind of revolves around you, which is a pretty amazing experience that you don't you don't see that anywhere else. <laughs> I mean, I want to be a surgeon, so this, is, this has been absolutely amazing. We have a hands-on approach. After just a few days of orientation, they uh, actually go and examine the patients. They present them to the attending physicians and have uh, in-depth discussions about these cases. We encourage them to stay as much as they can in the ER to get uh, direct exposure to patients as they come in directly to the hospital. And when patients come in, they let you follow them throughout the procedure, the history, the physical exam, and then if they have to go to surgery, they, you know, they let you go there, scrub in, and touch it in your hands and get a real good feel for it. They're so stressed and there are a million patients in the emergency room and they're still very patient explaining everything that's going on. It's unbelievable. I think it's the best way to learn, hands on. You have to feel, you have to palpate, you have to look on the patient and to understand, that, look, this is a case of acute appendicitis. The next one I will know for sure because I have seen one. 
Is it okay if, uh, if you go to the operating room if one of us scrubs in? Yeah, it's okay. okay. It's great. Excellent. It will be very nice for you. Maybe you can also help us. Okay. And we also expose them to really state-of-the-art equipment almost on a daily basis that is very developed here at our medical center. The medicine is really high-tech and top-notch. Like when they go on rounds, it's all on laptops. Technology actually surpasses some of the technology that's available back in the States. A lot of inventions are made in Israel, so I'm definitely not lacking in the technology here in this country. I've trained in the States and I've trained here, and no question that they're getting the best in terms of their clinical experience. We have weekly conferences and journal clubs and research presentations. We're very up to date with all the current research that goes on around the world in medicine and it plays out in patient decision making every day. The clinical experience here, in my opinion, has been amazing. Nothing short of it. In Israel, when you're doing your rotations, you're going around with heads of departments, professors that have published many, many articles, are world known, and they're the ones that are teaching you every day. They're the ones that are bringing you to the bedside of a patient and you know, talk, you see them talking to the patient and you see how they examine people and you see the caring and the responsibility that they have and it really is a great experience. For instance, I'm, uh, today I'm in the oncology ward and I'm, I'm uh, rotating with uh, the head of the department and I'm somebody that has virtually little to no clinical experience and to stand uh, with a man that has about 30 years uh, more experience than I do. What they need to learn from the experienced people, not only the things that uh, we can read in the books, but more how you approach a child with, with a certain problem, with a certain medical problem. And this, this was what we were just discussing a minute ago, is what would you do if you are in the emergency room and a child with a certain problem comes in and, and this is something that you learn with years of experience. And I think that is something that, that makes Sackler stand apart from the rest of medical schools in the United States and all around the world. We really are taught by the best. Not only they're exposed, of course, I think, to superb medical education that rivals any one of the top universities in the United States, but they have a whole cultural aspect that, of course, would be rare to find anywhere else. Living in Israel is an amazing, amazing experience. You can't compete with the weather. Tel Aviv is amazing. The people are amazing. Cafes, movie theaters, restaurants. You have museums, you have galleries, you have parades. If you wanted to, you could go somewhere different every single night of the week. Fun is never a problem here. <laughs> and the beach, of course the beach, it's beautiful. The school's outstanding, it's a beautiful campus. And there's palm trees and gorgeous, <laughs> you know, buildings and everything is just so pretty that it just puts me in a good mood immediately when I walk out of my building. I was a little bit nervous about you know, how I would adapt to the culture that was so different than what I was used to. As soon as I got there, I felt right at home. Once you kind of live in Israel and meet people, you find that they're very genuine people, they're very easy to get along with. Most of the Israelis that I've encountered love Americans, and we get along really well. I adjusted really quickly, actually, and the language wasn't really a problem because everybody really speaks English. The actual studying and medical school part of things was all done in English. The school did a lot to help everyone adjust when they came. I mean, you have the first week or two, which is just orientation. It's about bonding. There's a lot of activities, and then helping you find apartments, helping you find roommates. So by the time actually classes start, pretty much everyone's usually settled in an apartment, pretty much knows the area. It helps that it's a beautiful country. I'm not gonna lie, it's, you know, fun. It's a beautiful place to live. Israel's a small country, so you could literally go from one side to the other you know, in a, in a day. If like you were very, very stressed out and you wanted to take a break, you would hop on a bus and an hour later you are at the Dead Sea having a magnificent time floating in the Dead Sea. It's, it's incredible. I really feel when I speak to friends back home who go to medical school in the States, 
a lot of them are just miserable. It's not that we're not busy and we don't work hard, but it's also a really welcoming atmosphere. People are there to help each other and not to compete with each other. Well, you've got a small class, a small, very closely knit class. Usually, most chemistries click. I didn't know anyone in my class, and now I must say that they're like family. We spend a lot of time together, we study together, we live together, and that has created like a social network. And we all grow together. All the different grades help each other out. Whenever there was a new book, whenever there was a new CD, whenever there was something new that nobody had, we all shared with each other. We all told each other about it. And the alumni connection is huge when you're, we just started to realize in our fourth year, um, helping each other get residencies. And everybody just has this wonderful experience during their Sackler experience that they just take with them. When I was applying for residency, people knew Sackler. And they actually had higher expectations from me because I was a Sackler student. My clinical experience I received in Israel was above and beyond what I needed to start here. But it's not only until we come here for the fourth year and see the comparison in America that we, I think, appreciate it even more. I began intern year and I knew exactly what I needed to know. I was exactly where I should be, if not further ahead. But you don't really know what your skills are until you're well into your residency. And I would say that from my own experience, I think that clinically um, we were pretty superior to um, our American colleagues. Graduates of our program, our alumni, are in positions of distinction in leading hospitals and universities throughout the United States. I really think that I became the best physician that I could be um, at the completion of medical school at that time, and that translated into academic success and clinical success here in the United States. I got an amazing education, uh, as good if not better than the other medical students and residents that I met here in the United States. And I learned a lot more even about life and the rest of the world and living in another country and it, it was just an amazing experience overall. You know, my experience at Sackler was so unique and unusual when I look at the experiences that the American students have here. If I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't change anything. I would have just applied to Sackler and that's it. The excellence of Sackler's education is reflected by the students' high performance in the United States medical licensing examinations and by their success in obtaining residencies of their choice through the National Residency Matching Program. I'm doing pediatrics at Johns Hopkins. <laughs> Emergency medicine at Emory University. Yeah. Ophthalmology. Let's see if this is that knowledge. Jefferson in Philadelphia for obstetrics gynecology. I'm doing pediatrics in Mount Sinai, New York. Got what I wanted. Got what I want, and I'm there.